Who are you? I'm Stephen, your father's cousin. The one who invited you here, Loa. How, how do you know my name? I know many things. I know that you're sad and angry. You must feel very alone, but don't you? I know loneliness too. My father is looking for you. I see. He has a gun. I worry about his health. He seems troubled. Unwell. But you know that already, don't you? Stay away from her! Don't hurt him, father! No! Stephen! Find the book, cousin. What's wrong with you? You could still save your children. Another man would be enjoying all this, but not a private man like yourself, am I right? Do you think you stayed warm enough tonight? I wouldn't have come myself, if not for her insistence, but she wanted to see him. And I want to be with her at every moment. That's strange, you know, I, I see her, and yet I don't know how to describe it. It's it's. It's unworldly. Does that make sense? Like every moment I'm with her seems impossible, yet, yet there she is. Oh, uh, you know, got wasted at the end of the last tour. Crashed a hotel room, broke a window, pissed on a few pedestrians. Oh, you mean standard rock star behavior? Lit my lead on fire. Hey, I. I never remember that. Seriously? Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't like they said, you know, I just... It was a joke, and... Julian was passed out, and he was always passed out, and I poured a bottle of vodka on his head, and... When that didn't work, I threw a match at him. Oh. And his hair caught on fire. <laughs> Some kind of overproof vodka or fucking Estonian shit, I don't even know. Jesus. Yeah, we got it out right away. I mean, he just had a little bit of burns, but... He freaked, and everybody freaked, and I got charged with assault, and long story short, I'm not allowed to drink alcohol or go near the X-ray Gandhi's or a four-point skirt hotel for the next 15 months. Oh, it totally sucks. Yeah, it really sucks. One sip of booze, and this thing sends a bad signal to my probation officer, and the cops come running. About fucking time. I'm supposed to get jello and broth. Hey, they said I could get some jello and broth. That's. Sir, let me see what I. Two days I'm sitting in this stupid bed waiting for you people to rip out six feet of my intestines. Least I can do is get some jello and fucking broth. Of course. I'll check on that for you. You stealing my coat? What the hell kind of place is this? I'm having it cleaned. It's part of the service we provide here. I am on to you, bitch. All of you people sneaking around here pretending you're so nice, but I know who you really are. I told my bosses about all the good things happening here, and we're hopping out with the fest. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Nothing too crazy. Just a little sponsorship to get the name out there, just in case uh, good things happen. Great news. I've actually got a proposal to run by you, uh, how you might be able to get us set up here, if you have time to talk later. In 100 years. They look back at now and say that the most popular form of torture was refusing to let people die. Dragging it out. Give people false hope, false relief. Hook them up to machines, you know. Something that should take months to kill them would take years. Those people, they're the bad guys. Are you? You're one of the good ones. Do you really think so? Oh, yeah.
Are you going to stay with me? Yes, of course I will. 